So the next step is to apply the tape onto your newly fitted outer edge of the next seal. The kit does come provided with the tape, also comes with two shorter lengths as well for the cuffs. The idea of the next bit is literally to work out where the glue needs to be adhered to. So you take your nice dry section of tape, apply it around the top, and then as you go, you take the marking chalk that comes provided and literally just making a line along the top, also along the bottom, gives you a set of tram lines. So you do this all the way around, you can then start applying the glue within those lines. So we're going to go ahead and mark it all out first and then go ahead and apply the glue. So we finished off the tram lines on the top of the dry suit and we've popped that to one side. We can now start to prepare the tape to be stuck on. As a similar kind of setup as we had before with the neck seal, when you apply the glue, it does give the tendency to make the tape curl up. So we need to wrap it around something hard and cylindrical to stop that from happening. We've got a coffee jar here. You can use anything, maybe a milk bottle or a plastic bottle. And all we have to do is wrap the tape around and then we can apply the glue to stop it from obviously wrinkling up. What we've done to begin with is we've just tacked on the tape to the jar itself. Two different sides to the tape, so you have to make sure you tack the right side. We've got a shiny side, and we've also got a slightly rougher side here as well. The shiny side is what you want to display once you've got it stuck around the top of the neck seal. So what you're going to do is dab a little bit of glue onto the shiny side and just literally just hold it in place onto the, the jar just until it adheres nice and solid. Once you've done that, you can then start to wrap the tape around the jar. You want it nicely separated as we do have to apply the glue in a second. So you want to do that kind of pattern. And once you've got it round to the other side, you can then just apply another little dot of glue So we'll just hold this end in place. So hold this down for a second or two. And there we've got the tape wrapped nicely around the jar. So the next step is then to apply the glue as we did before with the next seal. We've trimmed down our little spatula so it's going to fit nicely on the, the tape. And we're going to apply a liberal amount of glue all the way around the tape so it's nicely covered. We're then going to leave that to dry so it goes tacky and then going to apply a glue to the top part of the, the next seal so we can apply the tape. So we're going to go ahead and apply the glue onto this and we'll come back to it in a second. So the glue has been applied to the tape and all dried nicely. Next bit we've got to do is just prep the neck collar. We've drawn out our tram lines as we mentioned before. The only thing we now have to do is just going to rough up the surface in between those tram lines with the provided sandpaper just to give it more of a rougher surface for the glue to adhere to. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so that's the tram lines in between there, all sanded and prepped, ready for the glue. That's just a case now of applying a layer of glue. So we've got our squeegee from the time before. Small amount of glue left in the tube here. As we said before, we did think you had more than enough in here to, to go through. Oh, pushing it ever so slightly, there's probably just enough within one tube to fit the neck seal nice and easily. So what we'll do is just go ahead and apply this on. So while we're waiting for the extra section of glue on the top to dry, we're going to apply a second coat to the tape. Again, exactly the same principle, just literally squirting it on to the tape and smoothing it out with the squeegee so we get a nice even surface. Then apply another coat to the top of the next seal and we'll start attaching it. So we've applied a second coat to the tape. We're now going to quickly apply another coat to the top of the next seal and attach the tape. So all the same again. Actually just applying this on, getting it to coat nice and evenly. As we said before, we have found that you can literally sandpaper any excess glue off with the sandpaper provided, so I wouldn't worry too much about getting it within those pre-drawn tram lines that we did earlier, just as long as the glue's on there and there's a wide enough space for it to adhere to the tape, it should stick okay. Okay, so there we go, that's the second coat applied. 
literally does start to go tacky a couple of seconds after you've applied it on. So what we now need to do, we take our recently glued tape. Now what it says to do in here, literally just peel off the top and you can start unwinding it and then attaching it to the, the seal. Now obviously we want to be able to put the join probably towards the, the back of the next seal. Obviously we don't want it anywhere towards the front. I think it'd be a bit tidier if we put it at the back. So that's what we're going to do. We'll untack this from the top here. Still quite sticky from before. And then literally just unpeeling a section of this off of the jar. And again, we're going to put a little bit of stretch onto this when we do apply it. So let's go ahead and make a start. So give it a bit of a pull as you do slowly start to put it on. giving it a gentle curve as you do it as well. Okay, so we've just finished wrapping the tape up around the top. We've then glued about half an inch just over the top of the start of the seal. This is so we can get a bit of an overlap. And then just gonna trim off any excess that we've got at the top here. Nice and easy to do. And then just push that section back over the top there. So as we've gone round, we've tried to feel out the centre of the, the tape over the top of the seam just to make everything line up in sections. Obviously there are areas where we've not adhered enough glue onto, so sections like just here where it's a slight flap and on the inside of here as well. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go round, maybe touch up a little bit of glue just underneath these sections where we've not glued out far enough and hopefully that should stick all the tape down. But other than that, it's done a pretty good job. We're quite impressed with uh, the ease that it's gone on. It is quite labour intensive. It is taking that a little bit longer than we initially thought it would. But the, the financial benefit over using one of these kits does kind of weigh up in the end. So we're going to go through, tidy these bits up and uh, see what we look like once we've finished. So that's the top part of the suit all finished. We've stuck on the next seal, we've attached the tape, just tucked in those extra areas where it's not adhered to correctly. Now we've taken off the bungee and also removed that disc that we made prior. The only other thing now left to do is just to check the seal on the inside is all glued correctly as well. And obviously we can then turn it inside out and give it a proper pressure test and then test it fully in the water as well. All in all though, it's gone on very well. It's been nice and easy. There's not been too many difficult things to kind of sort out. The instructions that we did mention before are a little bit on the difficult side to understand, but once you have read through them once or twice and you apply a bit of common sense, it's all pretty straightforward. So that's pretty much it. As we said, we'll go through, we'll just tidy up those extra few edges and we'll give you a pressure test to make sure it's all fully sealed correctly.